In 2017, Donald Trump secured victory in the presidential election, subsequently assuming the role of President of the United States. The following year, Trump initiated a trade war with China, attributing it to a perceived trade deficit. In 2018, the United States recorded imports from China amounting to $539.5 billion, while exports to China stood at $120.3 billion, resulting in a trade deficit of $419.2 billion. A trade deficit arises when a nation's imports surpass its exports, prompting the imposition of tariffs, taxes, or duties on imported goods. Even after Donald Trump's departure and Joe Biden's inauguration as the new president, tariffs persisted, with Biden also implementing export controls to hinder China's progress in the semiconductor and high-tech industry. Now, eight years later, has the United States emerged victorious, and has China suffered losses? This video will delve into why the trade war is unlikely to succeed against China, how China has navigated around imposed tariffs, and who the true winners and losers are in this trade conflict. Before we delve further, ensure you subscribe to our channel for more insightful videos like this one. Why it is impossible to decouple from China the ongoing decoupling between the world's two largest economies has led to China losing its status as the primary trading partner of the United States. According to reports, Mexico has now surpassed China as the United States' foremost trading partner. Presently, imports from China to the U.S. remain significantly below the pre-trade war levels, defined by U.S. imports from the global market, having only recently recovered to pre-trade war figures. China currently constitutes only 18% of total U.S. goods imports, a decline from the initial 22% at the commencement of the trade war. In contrast, current U.S. imports from other parts of the world have surged to levels 38% higher than those before the trade war, even surpassing the established trend. At first glance, the data might suggest that the U.S. is emerging victorious, with reduced trade with China and increased trade with other nations. However, a closer examination reveals a more intricate reality. Despite the apparent diversion of foreign direct investment and imports away from China to countries like Mexico and Vietnam, it is not a straightforward risk reduction strategy. Chinese companies, seeking to navigate U.S. trade barriers, are intensifying trade and FDI connections with intermediary nations. Increasing skepticism in the U.S. regarding accepting Chinese investments makes it challenging for China to shift production to the U.S. Instead, China has augmented exports of intermediate goods to Vietnam and Mexico and established factories in both countries. China's portion of Vietnam's imports has surged from 26% in 2010 to over 40% in 2022. Similarly, Mexico has witnessed a 5 percentage point rise in Chinese imports, increasing from 15% in 2010 to 20% by 2022. Many of these Chinese exports are evidently integrated into U.S. supply chains. In the case of Vietnam, its primary imports from China include integrated circuits, textiles, and office telephones, essential components in product categories where China-based exporters have forfeited U.S. market share. Vietnam's strategic proximity to China facilitates seamless integration into Chinese supply chains, making it a highly appealing option for suppliers to multinational giants such as Apple, seeking to bolster their diversification efforts. Key Chinese suppliers for Apple, including Luxshare Precision Industry, Goatech, and BOE Technology Group, have all established operations in Vietnam. While Vietnam primarily serves as an assembly hub, Chinese suppliers engage in more value-adding activities north of the border. Chinese investment in Mexico, primarily concentrated in the automobile and electronics sectors, reached $151 million in 2022. 
According to Kearney's 2022 Reshoring Index, the involvement of shelter companies in the U.S. and Mexico obscures the true origin of invested capital. Industrial parks in border cities like Tijuana, Juarez, and Monterrey are teeming with Chinese manufacturers and their suppliers, highlighting the significant presence of Chinese investment in the region. Put it in a simpler way, Americans who shift their sourcing to countries like Vietnam, Indonesia, or even Mexico are realizing that many of the top-notch facilities in these locations are frequently owned by Chinese entities. After all, China is the top trading partner for over 120 countries. Are there any winners in the trade war? The trade war inflicted economic hardships on both China and the United States, leading to a redirection of trade away from both nations. According to a 2019 report by Moody's Analytics, the trade war had already resulted in the loss of nearly 300,000 jobs and an estimated 0.3% reduction in real GDP for the U.S. Bloomberg Economics projected that the trade war's cumulative impact on the U.S. economy would reach $316 billion by the close of 2020. Recent research from the Federal Reserve Bank of New York and Columbia University revealed that U.S. companies saw a minimum loss of $1.7 trillion in stock values due to the tariffs imposed on Chinese imports. Multiple studies indicated that U.S. companies predominantly bore the brunt of the tariffs, incurring costs amounting to nearly $46 billion. These tariffs compelled American companies to tolerate diminished profit margins, implement wage and job cuts for U.S. workers, postpone potential salary increases or business expansions, and elevate prices for American consumers or businesses. By 2019, the trade deficit had contracted to $345 billion, reaching a level similar to that of 2016, largely attributed to diminished trade activities. It's important to note that although the U.S. deficit with China decreased, the overall trade deficit did not. The unilateral tariffs imposed by Trump on China redirected trade flows, resulting in an increase in the U.S. trade deficit with Europe, Mexico, Japan, South Korea, and Taiwan. In the wake of Donald Trump's initiation of the trade war, the United States incurred losses, and although China experienced economic challenges due to the conflict, it did not yield to the Trump administration's key demands for substantial structural reform. Notably, the beneficiaries of this trade dispute between China and the U.S. are emerging economies such as Vietnam, Mexico, India, ASEAN nations, and South Korea. Over the period from 2018 to 2022, China's exports of goods to Southeast Asia saw a remarkable 78% increase, and in the first eight months of 2023, ASEAN surpassed the U.S. to become China's largest export market. This trend underscores that as the U.S. diminishes its imports from China and diversifies to other nations like Vietnam and Mexico, trade between these alternative countries and China experiences a significant upswing. Essentially, countries like Mexico, Vietnam and India are importing more raw materials from China, manufacturing goods and subsequently redirecting them to the United States to circumvent tariffs. This is precisely why the American sanctions are unlikely to have the desired impact on China. What are your thoughts on whether the U.S. made the right move in initiating a trade war and imposing economic sanctions on China? Feel free to share your opinions in the comments section below. If you enjoyed the content, give it a thumbs up to express your support. Most importantly, subscribe to our channel for more engaging videos similar to this one.